Thanks for you Tuesday. Make sure you shout out where you're from. Always love hearing that. Hell, look at that. Already got more people than Biden's rallies had. Sorry, couldn't resist. everyone doing? It is Tuesday. Let everybody get rolling and things get moving here. Got a little bit of royal blood starting us off today. Trouble's coming. God, if that ain't kind of cosmically true. Especially with January just around the Thanks for you, Tuesday. Make sure you shout out where you're from. Always love hearing that. Hell, look at that. Already got more people than Biden's rallies had. Sorry, couldn't resist. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a beautiful Tuesday so far. I know that, yeah, I have not really even been moving that long. For some reason, I could not sleep last night. And, well, by the time I decided to emerge from bed, it was about noon today. I don't work on Tuesdays technically so I'm kind of behind but not really because um, I'm on my own schedule so there's that but hey at least I was on time here to come hang out with all of you guys bring you all some information um you know the one show that if it had a producer it'd already be off the air because I've said some shit <laughs> oh boy have we had some fun on here on Tuesdays so like I said, shout out where you're from. Thanks for you, Tuesday. It's the moment where we take a minute and we let people know what's going on around the world. So it doesn't matter where you're from. Do you have a business? Do you have a, a music venture? Anything that you want people to know about that maybe you're not getting enough traction, shoot me a DM. I'll be more than happy to shout it out. This show happens once a week, unless something's going on and it's a holiday. And either way, if I tell you you're going to be on the show, you always end up on the show with your shout outs. That is a promise. If I say it, it will happen. So get me those DMs if you would like me to shout out any of your businesses, music, modeling, whatever it is. So, um, you know, everybody always usually comments because even though this is a two o'clock Eastern show I do, I'm still drinking coffee because like. Some days I'm on a night schedule, some days I'm on a day schedule. So whenever I wake up, that's my morning. Doesn't matter. My day always starts with coffee. And people always comment on, like, my mugs. And right now we're going to have a moment of silence for my black mug. You know, the one with the um, brass knuckles handle. Yeah, I had that for 10 or 11 years. And last week it shattered and died a good Horrible. It wasn't a good death. It was horrible. It was totally unexpected. Sitting on the edge of the counter and didn't realize how close I was to it. Yeah. So we're going to take a moment of silence for that cup. I mean, there was no way to even put it back together. Like, there was nothing I could do. And it was a gift. And, uh, well, I guess it's time in my life I was done. So there's that. But, hey, I have plenty of others. So... We'll find a new favorite. All of them are heavy enough. They can be used as a paperweight or, you know, to toss at someone if needed. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. So, what is going on that people would like to know about? Well, how about this? I know you guys have heard me say, oh, there's merch coming for These Are The Times and Illuminate Shadows and blah, 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 blah. Dude, it's really coming. Like, it's an order. Me and um, the printer have actually been chit-chatting back and forth between the last week. Last night, I was looking through different um, hats, different shirt styles. Yeah, yep. So the first round of printing will be starting very, very soon. And of course, you know, I'm going to don it obviously, so that you can see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, we'll get things going so that you guys who have been asking me for these things, will they'll be made available to you. I had you at coffee, Hector. <laughs> I like that one. Like that a lot. Yeah, coffee. It, it's a hell of a drug. So um, 
that is definitely happening and ah, I could not be more excited and you know I'm gonna keep it under wraps who I've got printing for me because she's pretty badass and right now I just kind of want to keep her to myself I mean some other friends know who she is and they've already been using her for print things and of course I'll shout her out when that time comes but right now just gonna kind of enjoy having her all to myself because she's one cool chick and her work is amazing. Also sending her good vibes because she's not felt good the last couple days. So hopefully it's not the you know what word we don't say because the bots might turn my shit off. So anyways, sending her good vibes and more to come on the merch side for these are the times, illuminate shadows and all that fun jazz. Ah. Uh, you guys that hang out on These Are The Times, you all know Miss Jamie Eplin, right? And I've had a few people DM and ask me, where have you girls been? Where are you all at? We miss you guys. When are you all going to do a live again? Well, that's all good questions. And it's called um, life, life, life. Between the two of us, try, you, you guys know how it is. There's a schedule. And it's called your real life, what you would like to do, and what actually has to happen. So, between school, her school, children, her husband, me, and my work, and all these other things, it's so hard to get our schedules uh, together. And at the same time, neither one of us like putting things on people that's not actually helping if it's adding a stress. And right now, our sister's got a lot on her plate. She's got finals coming up. So... If you know and love Miss Jamie Epling, please send positive love and good, good, good focusing vibes to her because she's got a lot. She's got a lot that she had to take in for this school. She has a lot that she has to regurgitate back out. And it is not just one of those learn it and go. It's learn it, retain it because you're going to be using it. So make sure you send her positive vibes as she's getting ready to do her finals. God, that road, it's almost there, girlfriend. You're almost there, so keep it up. Um, and of course, you know, she's also become a part-time school teacher because, well, her kids are at home. So, we'll be back. We'll be dishing it out. You know, we'll be back hanging with you guys live. Let us get through the holidays. I'm not going to promise you all anything as far as a live with herself and me because, well, one, that format and forum over there started with both of us. So, I will not be doing it without her. Plain and simple. So, nope, I won't be over there doing any lives in that format until my girl has time and is with me. And nope, we're not promising to December. Probably more like uh, January to just be realistic about it. Plus, let's let's get all this, let's let all this stuff keep simmering. It's like a pot of chili, the political air in life and the things that she and I dish about over there. Um, just let that pot simmer. We'll be back. That way it'll definitely be a good one. So, um... A lot of people have asked me, oh, uh, no new content other than your things for you Tuesdays, no new rants. Yeah, I've actually got a lot of content. I'm just being very particular and actually setting it up to flow. So what's coming to YouTube, Erica Parrott, these are the times. Um, Well, we're going to start doing over there a nail blog. It will be a nail blog for professionals, as well as DIY, do it yourselves at home. Things that you could learn and look for when looking for a good salon, good nail tech, etc. Um, I mean, why not take my years of experience and continue to let it ripple throughout time? So that's coming into January. Um, already started shooting footage for that. Um, I'm gonna do. I've always, I guess you could say I started blogging unintentionally and didn't realize I was doing it. And a good friend of mine was like, you really need to like blog. And then fast forward, 2020 happened and it just kind of like pff, happened. But I've got little tidbits of things that, you know, have popped up in my memories and especially on like the travel side, because everybody's like, well, what are you going to blog about? I have come to find if you talk about the things that interest you then people tend to actually like gravitate to it because you have an interest in it. Well, I have an interest in a lot of different things, be it traveling, food, uh, apparel, you know? So why not blog about just life? So who knows? But what I'm doing is setting up the YouTube channel to have playlists. So you'll have like all your favorite rants. You'll be able to go find them. You will have a section that's just for the nails. There's a new...
when you're not touching your device in any way and it still decides to shut off, you know, it was Facebook. But I don't care because I just hit the button and we'll be right back. I'll give you guys a second to come back over here with me. But anyways, um, like I was saying, on Eric Pratt YouTube's These Are the Times, there are going to start being playlists formatted out and things like the trip I got to take last year that I was so blessed to be a part of over to the Dominican Republic. Oh, God, the amazing sights, the foods, the, the culture, all of it. So I'm going to get together. I've actually been sitting down pulling all of that content because it's on like three different devices. The phone I have now is not the phone I had then. It's, it's in the cloud, some of it, some places. So pulling all that content together to get you a nice, cool travel blog about the Dominican Republic, which will go up on to These Are The Times on YouTube. The nail blog, like I said, will start in January as well. Um, there is going to be way more music linked to that that will flow off of that as well. So there's all kinds of things going on over there. So if you're not linked into... Erica Parat, these are the times on YouTube. Now would probably be the time to go check that out. Um, I'll drop a link as always when I'm done because, well, hell, I'm sitting like, well, I can't touch my device from here and it turns itself off. So I'm definitely not going to try to like lean up, touch it and put any codes or anything like that in. It will all pop up here at the end when I'm done. So there was a gentleman who reached out to me. Let's talk about, let's see here, what was, WCRO Wildcat Radio. It's bringing you the best in old rock and country, all Christmas, and they will be your music destination, bringing you nonstop classic Christmas and Christmas remixes for the ho, ho, ho holidays. That's right. I'm going to drop you their link. It's a www.wcro.listen to myradio.com as in the number two but again like i said i will drop that link for you uh chris wilson hit me up earlier last week and was like hey do you think you could totally like get wcro on i'm like oh, of course just get me all the info so if you're looking for some new entertainment or a different splash why don't you go check that out that radio station is online and up and running so let them be your music destination. You never know what you might find over there. You know, when you want to find new things, you must try new things. Same cycles, don't bring new things. Just bring what you already had. That's why you're not seeing anything different. So, ah, uh, the pre-show, which happened on November 14th, and we shot at Sessions at the Den. And it's a really cool setup. Jay Silverman actually is the brain think tank behind Sessions at the Den. It's one of his little side projects, side channels, and it flows within his Half Fun channel, which you can find on YouTube at jsilverman9, all one word. Um, but the link came out a couple days ago, and I posted it on my actual timeline. I don't even remember if it made it to the music page or not, but it's up. You can check that out on his page right now going on. It's got a few of the songs. No, mine's not on there yet. I think he's going to do a different type of release and do some other things because he found some other footage. We were talking the other night. He found footage from like during sound check when Scott and Tom were just like jamming. And it is freaking amazing. So, and he looked at me, he goes, I don't remember filming this. I'm like, where was I? <laughs> But, hey, so much happened that day. When I got in my car, I really couldn't have told you if I actually sang real words or not. Didn't remember any of it happening. That's what happens when you wear a lot of different hats and you've got stresses on you and everything's pushing and pulling, trying to make sure it doesn't happen. But, hey, we didn't cave. We did. It... It accomplished what was needed to be accomplished, and it also taught us all a lot, a lot about ourselves, about each other, and um, 
thankful for it, grateful for it. And if you want to check that out, like I said, the link's on my timeline. I'll drop it here as well. Go show Jay some love. If you're not already subscribed to his channel, he blogs as well. He blogs, he vlogs. He's part of the West Virginia Hot Dog Tour, which again, is a great project and hoping for it to be back up and running very soon because there's still a few places they've yet to cover. But you know, it's not on any deadline or timeline. So, but if you want to know some cool little mom and pop places in West Virginia, you can go hit up that channel at jsilverman9 on YouTube. And well, you can see where all they've already been. And in all the videos, they let you know where they're about to go. And yeah, you can follow that along. It's got its own little special that's about to happen with Taste West Virginia magazine as well. So keep in contact with all of those things. You know why? Especially if you're in the West Virginia area, because it's about local people and businesses that some of you all didn't even know existed. So without us telling you about it and keeping that network and connection going, how else would you find out? Well, like I said, I don't care that Facebook is a dick some days. I mean, a lot of people I know and actually care about are dicks some days. Facebook, unbothered, unfazed. Thank you for cutting me off. It just gave me extra things to have to edit later. You're the best. Always, always increasing and elevating my learning curve. Love you. Um, Make sure you're on These Are The Times on Facebook. There's a lot of content over there that's happened in the last few days. There was a history lesson that I actually got to partake in. Some of you, actually, I know the majority of you, because right now there's 3,000 and some followers over there. I guarantee you. Out of the 3,000 of us over there, most of us won't know the history lesson that I posted about black wealthy America. They didn't teach you that in school. Go find it. I might even take it and move it to this page as well. Because, you know, I got a warning yesterday. It finally happened. Facebook gave me a warning. Um, but it wasn't on my personal page. I really thought that's where it was going to be after my, uh, keep it, the art to keep it scrolling lesson day, but it wasn't, it was actually on these are the times, uh, they got mad at me for putting up that shit about Oregon, like, <laughs> and like they fact checked it and I'm sitting there, I'm like, but what part of it wasn't true? Cause Oregon did ban straws and, uh, well, they did make hard drugs like cocaine and heroin legal. So in small amounts. So I'm trying to understand bots. What part of that wasn't true? So they flagged me on that and warned me. They flagged me on um, the COVID-19 video that I put up where the woman was sitting there doing research. They were like, we understand problems happening. We make mistakes. No, bitch, I didn't make no mistake. I meant to post that. I, I posted what I posted. I said what I said. But if you writing it that way, Facebook makes you feel better, whatever. But I, I meant to post that. It wasn't no mistake. But. I also am one of those individuals who understands why Facebook was created to begin with. It's a networking tool. It's a quick way to link the world together and get a large or small amount of information out to a large group of people that they can go back to and touch at any point in time. A lot of people didn't understand that concept. I got why they made Facebook to begin with. Again, I'll say that again. This is a networking tool. So yes, of course, some people going to get their feelings hurt when you start using it as a political platform and pushing that kind of information out. So it's a risk you take when you do that. I'm all about risk taking and I will post those things within reason. There's some things I do behind the, the behind the scenes. It's just smart. Smart because you know why? My Facebook runs three other pages and if one page gets shut down and put in jail, all of them go to jail. So, no point in that. I will always toe the line, but I do find it funny. Facebook, they, they do some fun things to my friends and then turn around and do nothing to me. Well, they finally gave me a warning and they told me that they understand mistakes happen. But if it happens again, I'm going to jail. We'll see what happens. I mean, only time will tell. Time will tell. Because after I started going through the restriction history, that honestly was my second one. That was my second. Oh, we understand mistakes happen. Bitch, throw me in jail if you gonna do it. You are here sounding like one of them absent parents that somebody finally lets you uh, take the kid for a day. And now you try to chastise them. And then you like, 
but I've been gone so long, so I don't want you to not like me, so I'm going to tell you I'm going to do it, but I'm not really going to do it. Yeah, that's what you sound like, one of those parents. Anyways, yeah, I said what I said. Uh, I started the day off with that one little quote. You want something new? Do new things. I also posted right before I came on live. Stop wasting energy on things that aren't fulfilling you. And that even includes conversations. And, you know, a lot of us don't realize we do it. And we'll sit and talk to somebody about something that's happened to us. And everybody in the room, including, except for the person telling the story, can feel the emotion. And at the end of their sentence, this is usually what they say. And I have to always stop myself from laughing because it's like, because my grandmother caught me in it one day in my early 30s. <laughs> and I was telling a story about someone and all she had asked me was, how is so-and-so? And it, and at the end of my story, I was like, but I just, I don't deal with her. I'm done with it. The entire time I'm talking, she never stopped working her crossword puzzle. And she ever so kindly looked up and said these exact words to me. You ain't done with it. Because you blood pressure up. But thanks for telling me all that. And went right back to what she was doing. And she was right. I wasn't over it. Because even in talking about it, I was giving and expelling energy to it. Stop giving energy to things that you're done with. Because if you're really done with it, it's time to actually let those things flow completely through your body. The anger, the anxiety, the depression, whatever is going to come with it to exfoliate it from you. You got to go through it. You can't put a rug over it. You can't put it in a corner. You actually physically, mentally, emotionally have to go through it. So, I wish all of you a great and amazing rest of your Tuesday. Stop wasting energy and time on things that have no part of your future building.